on a YouTube people world everywhere well I did it so I found a circular saw um so this is my DeWalt brushless XR uh, brushless whatever you want to call it DeWalt 20 volt <clears throat> Um, I can't remember, I think I bought this and then got a couple batteries for free or something, or a battery charger and whatever else for free. Nothing wrong with it. Nothing, no problems. It's got a little LED light right there. That, that lights up. And this one's got a LED light that lights up once you push the safety, which is a little better. There's the light there. So, <clears throat> little story on it. Um, I was at the swap meet this morning. So it is a Milwaukee 18 volt brushless. Um, I haven't looked it up yet. I don't know if it's the, f I'm pretty sure it's not the fuel because usually they say fuel. <clears throat> but here's the part numbers and everything are right in there. Catalog number, whatever you want to call it. So, anyway, um, <clears throat> I was at the swap meet this morning and uh, picked it up for 80 bucks. You know, without the battery and without the blade. It's a Diablo. I uh, can't remember how many tooth blade it is. I don't remember. I think it's a 80 tooth blade or 60 something tooth blade. <clears throat> I can't remember, and I'm not going to count. But I had it on this. Worked great. The Walt. It worked fine. Everything was good on it. Um, so I'll probably... <clears throat> either I'll end up just keeping this as a backup for a smackup. Or selling it. Um, but yeah, this is... <clears throat> this has never been used. This is brand new. Um, I think I ended up... Wouldn't say screwing the guy over, but basically, uh, I went to the swap meet. A guy wanted 180 <clears throat> for one of these. <clears throat> Excuse me, man. I just ate lunch, <clears throat> and I eat. I basically inhale my food. Anyway, a uh, guy wanted 180 bucks at a, one of the booths. And uh, I went to another guy, and he wanted $180 for the brushless, <clears throat> for the same one, same exact everything. Uh, the one for 180 bucks, the first one, it had a blade, but it had the Milwaukee, just a stock factory blade that it comes with. I think it's like a 24 tooth blade, <clears throat> which I don't really care for. So... Um, yeah, so I went to this guy's booth, and uh, I asked him how much he wanted for it. He didn't know. Turns out that uh, all the people at the swab meet that sell the tools, the new tools, they're all, I guess, in cahoots with each other, if you want to call it that. <clears throat> they all sell all the tools. I, I'm assuming they get... <clears throat> I'm assuming they buy the bulk... Home Depot returns and all that other stuff. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, same. So one of the guys, the guy asked another guy that was selling other tools how much they wanted. He wanted 180. Then I went to another booth, like, in a different aisle. He wanted 180. So, and that guy, the second guy is the guy that told me that they're all basically, like, consignment sellers. So... If the swap meet, uh, swap meet <clears throat> has, I think it has like 20 something rows or something. And there's, you know, back rows, front rows. And uh, I guess the people in the back are selling the old stuff, old tools, like returns, like used returns. Then the front people are selling like new returns, something like that is what the guy was telling me. So he told me to go... He's like, yeah, it's 180. I saw it's too much. And he says, well, go to the back. The guy back there sells used 
returns. And uh, so I went, I didn't go to the back yet, and I went to the, like an aisle over, and I had three of these, he had two used ones, and then this one was brand new, I mean it's it's brand new, it's just, looks like it's just been thrown in the box a bunch of times, in a, like a tote, because there's no wear on it at all. So I asked the guy if it worked, he plugged in a battery, and it was a little like one and a half amp battery. And it was dead, so the thing was like, like barely even, barely even kicked on. <clears throat> so I was like, all right, it works. How much is it? And I figured he was going to tell me 180. And uh, I was playing with a small one, a smaller one. Like I think it's a six and a half, a five and a half inch. This is seven and a quarter, by the way. Um, I was playing with a small one. And uh, the guy looked over, the guy that he asked how much it was, he looked over at me and uh, he came back and he said 80 bucks. So I said, all right, I'll take it, 80 bucks. So I think he thought I was talking about the small one, but the guy knew I was talking about this one, the, the first guy. So um, if I ended up screwing him over, that's not my fault, that's his fault. Um, he should have known the prices and... Uh, Whatever, lack of communication. Sucks to be them. Um, but yeah, I think he was talking about the smaller one. Because I looked these up and they're without the battery, just the tool by itself. I think they're about 240 240 bucks for the brushless. So, anyway, I figure I got a little score. A little sweet little deal. So, let's, uh, let's go test it on a piece of wood real quick. Why not? Let's go find a piece of wood. See if it works. See if it holds its torque. Because a lot of these will work. A lot of them will work, but they won't. I guess stay working, if that makes sense. Like under load. So let's just do let's just do that piece of wood. Ow! Drop it down. Drop it down. Safety first. Ready? And here we go. I wasn't far enough. We'll do another cut. Nice. Nice and easy. <clears throat> so, now it's been used. So, see? There you go. Scratches on it. So anyway, oh, what's that? Oh no, what's that? Anyway, another video. Um, anyway, so that's going to be it for that. Um, works pretty good. Actually, I think it works smoother than this one. This one, I think this one's got a little more oomph to it, like RPMs. So... And I don't know why, because this one when I was cutting, it says 55. 20 volt max, NO5500 mm, mm, whatever the heck that means. What does this thing say? Hmm. NM5000. Um, but yeah. I don't know. I think this one just seems a little seemed a little bit smoother from what I remember cutting. <clears throat> so the only thing is that this one has this. Uh, I, I kind of want to say it's a cast aluminum, but it could be a, like a magnesium maybe. And this one has uh, some type of carbon reinforced block plastic. Polymer, I don't know. Um, but yeah, this one has this piece to put in your little guide. So your guide will slide in there. This one's missing the screw. Doesn't have a screw. Um, this one does have the tool to take the blade off, which I kind of like this tool better than this one. This one has an Allen wrench. So... Take it off. You gotta stick an Allen wrench in here. 
<clears throat> this one has a wrench so you take the wrench out and you can get to it although this one has the Allen and that so but it's a different size so pros and cons of each um, this one did feel a little smoother like I said and uh, having this big battery on oh, man, that's pretty heavy this is that one's a little bit lighter but that one feels more balanced this one wants to fall forward this one's wants to wants to balance itself out um that's a lot thinner it's a lot thicker um i do like how this one has the light on command so you click the trigger if it goes off so I'm just waiting 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 oh the light is off that's just a reflection um but anyway you you flip the trigger and the light comes on this one you actually have to press the trigger like all the way to get the light to come on so anyway uh, that grip feels alright this grip feels okay but this is kind of in the way so to grip it so if you have gloves on and you're gripping this you might get caught up on the glove so I don't know where's this one you know it's part of the handle part of everything I don't think you'll get caught up on a glove or anything. So you guys let me know what you guys think. I think it's a pretty good little find. 80 bucks. At the swap meet. Um, considering two guys wanted uh, 180 uh, for all of them. Um, anyway, you guys let me know what you guys think. I like it. Like I said, I'm switching over to Milwaukee. Little by little. Uh, but yeah, you guys, let me know what you guys think, and uh, I'll review your guys' comments. Make sure you guys subscribe, comment below, give me a like, and uh, oh, one more thing about this. So you can see this battery. How do I, how do I test if it's good? I gotta take the battery off, flip it over, push the button. Or come in here somehow and push the button. Got this one. Push the button. Boop. So push the button. It lights up. This one. It only push. It only lights up when you push it. So, and I think I just cut myself. So, Milwaukee's got a lot more uh, pros. This one's got a lot of cons. So now I need I need a grinder and a sawzall, Milwaukee, and I'll be all red. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, do what you guys do. Thanks for watching. Later.